Hey fans, and kinchao kuvi. Hi Victoria, I'm here in Anaheim, California at the Convention Center for the D23 Expo 2013. It is the ultimate Disney fan event which brings the entire world of Disney under just one roof. It also provides the attendees an unprecedented access into Disney films, television and theme parks. I am a huge Disney fan and I'm sure some of our viewers are too. So let's not waste any more time and go get the inside scoop on all of the new and up and coming Disney films. So you're a part of Frozen, can you tell me a little bit about your character in there and your experience, you know, voicing the character? Yeah, my, I play a character named Anna who um, is a very atypical heroine. She's kind of scrappy and um, she's a bit sarcastic and she's um, fun and loving but she's excitable and she's not uh, elegant, I guess, like previous Disney heroines and this is actually a literal dream come true because I loved Disney animation as a kid and when I was five years old I said I want to be a Disney heroine and, and now it's coming true. Hey I'm Lucas Nevin you are watching SBTN. So how does it feel to be playing uh, voicing the lead in uh, The Good Dinosaur? Um, it's terribly exciting and, and also terribly terrifying. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to let those kids down. There's a lot of kids out there in the world. I don't know if you knew this. But there's a lot of children and they love things, and I want to. I want them to love this, um, so I'm excited. I'm Judy Greer, and you're watching SBTN. I play Ivy, the middle dinosaur sister. Um, she is a tough and rugged farm girl who's very earthy and very loyal to her family. Um, her brother is Arlo, and he is like. He's a little sweet pea. He's chasing butterflies out in the field. Not literally, but like that's his mentality. He's like kind of a dreamer and a wanderer. And my parents are very strict. And I, my character is always trying to sort of like keep everyone, you know, like get him to shape up and get them to like relax a little. Um, it's been great to record it. I mean, it's so fun. I go up for like, you know, a morning or an afternoon. I get caramel corn. They feed me my lines. <laughs> They're very nice to me. And then I come home. <laughs> So what brings you to the expo today? I am involved in the new Tinkerbell movie called The Pirate Fairy, and so we got to come and give a little sneak preview to everybody. And how excited are you that it's been like released and announced? I'm very excited. I've been working on it now for about a year and a half, I think, uh, going through the process and learning so much uh, while doing it. And each time I see it, it's a little bit more animations done or a little bit more has been done on the film, and so each time it's like a little little tidbit I get to see. So I can't wait to see the whole finished project. Hi, you're watching SBTN and my name's Tom Hiddleston. It's nice to see you. How excited are you that, you know, the film is being announced and what was your experience like voicing your character? Well, I loved it. Um, I don't know if you know who, quite who I play, but um, I, uh, it, the film is called The Pirate Fairy and um, it's about a, a fairy called Zarina, who's voiced by Christina Hendricks. And she um, leaves her fairy community with Tinkerbell and all the other fairies in Pixie Hollow in Neverland. And she goes out to Skull Rock, where the pirates are. And um, we're just sort of like a motley crew of, of crazy pirates. And, and I play cabin boy James. And he's, he's you know, this open-hearted young man who's very kind and polite and educated and charming. And uh, it's revealed later in the story that, in fact, I, his name is Captain James Hook. So, I play Captain Hook. It's like a whole thing. Fear is an anxious little guy. He, uh, the movie takes place, the, the setting is a young, kind of like young adolescent girl's mind. And I play, uh, like I said, Fear. And he's just kind of like a manager at Office Depot. He's just like over, he's just scared and freaked out all the time and stressed out and doesn't really listen that much. So, you know. This is a shout out moment. I'm Dane Cook. You're watching SBTN. You know it. All right, so tell us about Dusty. Uh, Dusty Crop Popper is a, well, he's a crop duster. <laughs> I know, it's got kind of a Luke Skywalker vibe to it, which I really, really dig. But he's a, he's a crop duster and uh, kind of a, a farm boy, you know, small town plain. 
um, but he knows about this giant race called the Wings Around the Globe Rally. A magnificent, enchanting race, kind of dangerous, stunning visually, but it goes around the world. And Dusty wants to participate in this. He is not built for racing, he is too small, and he has a fear of heights because he's low and slow and he's dusting those crops. So add all those elements together and what do you get? You have an incredible moment for Disney to capitalize on what we all need, which is that real moment of somebody championing us and boosting our, our abilities. And that's what Dusty and his friends are going to do. There you have it. We got to speak with so many stars and get the inside scoop on these newly announced Disney projects. Be sure to check them out when they hit theaters. This is T-Fan with First Look Features. I'll see you next time.